tough. I mean, at the end of the day, though, it's a business. And, you know, you hate to see him go, but um, you just got to rock with who we have now. I'm excited to, you know, get the new guys here and get things rolling. You mentioned that you had talked to him on Saturday. Have you had any communication within the last two days? No, I haven't. Were there any signs maybe in the weeks leading up that this was going to happen? I feel like maybe last year there were signs that James was going to request his way out. Were there any signs that Kyrie was moving this way? No, I mean, I think everybody was caught off guard. And, yeah, no. Well, going through something like this, and I know this team has gone through a lot of things in these last couple of seasons, just – What's the overall message um, for this group as you now guys have to prepare for a game? Just keep it rolling. Um, we still have a job to do. We got to stay present. We can't worry about who's going. We just got to worry about you know whoever's here in the locker room. And the journey continues. Yeah. yeah I guess lasting memory of your time with Kyrie. <laughs> I mean that we still you know that's still my my brother my mentor. Um, we'll continue to have a close relationship off the court. Our relationship always transcended basketball. Um, he was, you know, one of the best teammates that I've had. He, um, despite, you know, people want to say what they paint that whatever picture, but he one of the best teammates I've had, and we'll continue to have a good relationship. Nick, you guys are humans too. What has it been like for the group the last 48 hours or so, seeing? all the stuff that's been going on around the team. It's been a whirlwind that I've become all too familiar with being here for four years. Um, but, you know, you can't control it, and you just got to keep keep rolling with it and, you know, come out here, and we still got a job to do every single night.